Yo, what's up, guys? I'm back again with another video. Now, I want to. I was asked by one of my subscribers which one that I like to use the best was it a foam pad or a wool pad. And uh, I said I would put up this video. Me personally, guys, I recommend. I, I like to use the wool pad. Reason why? Because if I'm doing kind of, any kind of polishing waxing or compounding or whatever I'm working with. You know, I could wash these things back out, man. And, you know, I could reuse that several times. Versus when you're using a foam pad, man. Those things really wear out. You can use them a couple times and you gotta throw them away. Because the back in here, see? It wears out from the back. Where they get to the... They won't stick no more like that. So you gotta throw them away. And plus, they just... Um, they don't last as long as a wool pad like this. Because, uh, you know, those foam pads can get up anywhere from $13, $14, $15 a pad. And even then, it depends on what name you're getting. If you're getting something like a Griot's Garage Polishing Pad or Waxing Pad or Correcting Pad, Foam Pad, it's going to cost you anywhere from $14. To 15 bucks each I'm just talking a wax pad now, you know I'm talking a correcting pad a polishing pad so you're looking to spend about $15 a pop for Griot's garage and Lake Country around the same thing or more you know so you'll go through these pretty fast man tell you so me personally I rather had a wool pad like these the wool because you could clean this back out with a spur or brush or whatever. Just brush the dust back out of it. Wash them and keep it moving. But these here, once the Velcro the stuff wear off the back of them, it's a done deal. They won't stick. They kind of bubble in the middle right here. After a couple uses, they bubble right up in here. And um, you can see how they bubble like. They just ain't no good, man. You'll go through a ton of these, man. You'll spend a lot of money messing with them phone pads. No, so me personally, I prefer the wool pads, the wool like this right here. You know, I just that's just what I prefer. I know some of you guys might like the foam pads. That's cool, but I tell you, if you're doing a paint correction or something, I, I, you gotta really charge up. Cause let's say a car this size here, it's Crown Victoria here, mine's car big as a Crown Victoria. To do a total, a total paint correction on it, man, you probably go through about six or seven pads because it's such a big car or more. So if you're using Griot's correcting pads and then polishing pad and then waxing pads, you know, you'll spend a hundred, hundred plus dollars on pads. Easy. On foam pads, guys. Because you got to have your correcting pad, you got to have your polishing pad, and then you got to have your wax pad. See? So, um,. I rather really use this way more of an all-in-one. You know what I'm saying? Rather really have a couple of the wool pads because you can put one on for your polish, one on for your, your wax. You can put, you can apply wax by your hand and buff it all over that or something. Or, you know, make it easier. Uh, I think I rather really do my paint corrections with wool pad. You no, know, but some of you guys like the foam pad, but like I said, them foam pads gonna cost you more money. You know, these you can pay up for pads like this, man. They're gonna cost you. Might as well look out. It's going to cost you some money now. Alright, I just want to throw that out there. And let you guys know. That's why I like the best. And the difference between the two. Is this here. Going to cost you less. Because you get more uses out of it. This here will cost you a fortune. Because you ain't going to get that many uses out of it. Before you have to buy more phone pads. That's the difference between the two. going to cost you more. <laughs> You get to looking at your pocketbook when you get to buying these, you will be like, "Oh man," you know. So it's really gonna hit you hard. It's gonna hit you. All right. So I just want to throw this little video out there for you guys, man. Let you know the difference between the foam pads and the wool pad. Which the wool pads, I think, is better. You know, anything you get more uses out of, you know, is better than that. Because, and I don't think it's so much into the machines, you know. Some people say, oh, you got to get a Rubes, uh, Griot's uh, Rotary, uh, Griot's DA, uh, Rubes, whatever you call them, DA. And 
so on and so on. But I think you could do it with a hopper freight one. You know, it's about how much time you put into it, man. If you take your time and do a hopper freight, do an action polisher, or do the same thing, the DA, you know. So you could go spend all your money on it, griot polishers, and whatever, whatever, whatever. But you ain't gonna do a better correction, a paint correction, no better than somebody with a Harbor Freight one, you know, because, like I said, it depends on how much time you put into it. Is what you get out of it. No, it's just my take on it. I don't think the machine have much to do with it. Maybe I could be wrong, but I just don't think it do. I think Harbor Freight machine will do just as good. This one will do just as good. Like I said, it depends on how much time you put into it. Alright, so guys, I'm out of here. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And uh, yeah, guys, the machine don't make no difference. You know, just like I said, the time you put into it. And for the foam pad versus the wool pad, I'd rather have the wool because the wool pad lasts a whole lot longer. More uses. you go through these things like hotcakes, you know. Seriously. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.